actually, because I want to lower the mill, the intent was because I didn't think we should be spending money on that. Mm -hmm. Now, my thought is the $235,000, if there's things on the CIP that we deem as important, I don't mind spending the money on, on that. I did not feel that the things in here should be, that we should spend money on them. So I, from my perspective, I'm fine with that money be going into fund balance. And, and my, my pro our problem is, is that we've got three council members that want to, that, that suggested they wanted the mill levy. Well, I mean, I, I'm just saying that we can get consensus on that. From my perspective, I'm fine with the $235,000 going into fund balance and for, for okay. this year. Is everybody okay with the $235,000 that was cut? Is there anybody not okay with wait, wait a second. Well, we're, 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 we have, we have, we have yeah. I, I know. Well, I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, it, just a yes or no. Everybody okay with it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who is in favor of lowering the mill levy? So there's three. So that's, those are the two components. What Laura needs to know is how much do you want to lower the mill levy? And I think we came up with a consensus number to lower that commensurate to the two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars that we say. And it's, does it need inflated each year, or does it need to be two hundred thirty-five thousand all the way across? I think we'd have to inflate it just like we would with our yeah. property tax revenues. I mean, you have to do that. So yeah, it's it's sure I yeah, understand. absolutely. Okay, in proportion to the two hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars with <coughs> inflation mm -hmm. uh, uh, adjusted for inflation. Yeah, is that you too, Larry? Yes. Yeah. So, so we've got consensus on the two items. Yeah. That being said, uh, I don't think that we're Passing, passing an ordinance amending utility rates this evening. Yeah, I, I didn't. No, we can't. We can't. We can't that's, do it. that's right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so we, we're we not approving the ordinance. We don't need to table that. They just need to just bring something back. Uh, so there's no motion. So consider passing an ordinance amending those that that just needs to come back mm -hmm. do we need to table that again that just no, no. Uh, governing body rules and procedure that is not tied to the budget anybody want to go through the governing body rules and procedure this is just this is just an, I've got a question for Mary because I don't know if there's a presentation on this or not and I think there was supposed to be something on public comment too but I don't know if there's anybody who wants to publicly comment on it, but um, the question I've got on this is, this is just changing our rules of procedure to dovetail with Ordinance 26, Charter Ordinance 26, and all the changes that were made there so that they're in, they're in consistency with each other. Yes, and then adding what you all requested about your appointment process for your mm -hmm. council members. So yes, that's what is in this document. Did you have any questions, Larry? Because I know that was something that was <coughs> we're going the appointment process because it was actually code. Uh, you know, I mean, it was what we said we were going to do, right? It is. Yeah. So I mean, it looked like it was. It is. Sure. I'm, I'm good. Do with we that. not? Do we want not want presentation on that? Is that the, that's the only thing that's really been changed. I mean, to, that wasn't required to be changed by the EUB. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Situation. So, I'm, I'm, I'm yes, what I'm did. hearing is, is We're okay. so we would, you're saying that the governing body would vote on new business item number five without uh, presentation based on their review of the package. Mm -hmm. yep. Keith, uh, get your head buried. Uh -huh. vote. What's, uh, what's the ordinance number on this? Well, it's the same one that the budget would have been, which is 2051. 2051? Okay, great, thanks. 2451. Two Thank you, 2451. Thank you. So are we voting on the only, the, we're voting on the revised version. We're not right. voting on whether. Right. Initially, I did not like this document, so but I guess I'll vote for the changes otherwise. 
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, is there a motion? I move to adopt ordinance number 2451, incorporating by reference the governing body rules of procedure as revised into the municipal code of the city of Gardner, Kansas. Second. Motion shoot second, Harrison, that we adopt ordinance number 2451, incorporating by reference the governing body rules of procedure as revised into the municipal code of the city of Gardner, Kansas. Roberts. Yes. Freeman. Yep. Podovich. Yes. <coughs> Harrison? Yes. Uh, shoot. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, council updates? Staff have anything for council? Council have anything for staff? I think that we. Ready? Oh, sorry. Mike, do you have anything for council? Do you I want to, at a future meeting, provide direction about the urban agriculture? Oh my goodness! Oh, I, oh no! I, listen, we're we, not done yet. That, yeah, we we have to adjourn the meeting, so we're not we're not Got done. It. Sorry. All right. So, uh, does anybody else on council? I mean, uh, does staff have anything for council? Uh, Mayor. Uh, Yes, Just one quick update for you on your utility director posting. Yes. Um, that has been, as we stated, it was posted. Um, we actually have it posted out on about seven different sites. Um, so we should get a good both regional and national mm -hmm. view of that. Um, it will close on the 18th of this month for first review. So I did want to provide to you um, that we're looking both regionally and nationally for that position. Okay. okay. Very good. Anyone else? Does the uh, council have anything for staff? Yeah, I wonder if we don't need to consider a special meeting for, I, I have serious concerns from the statutory compliance perspective of not being able to get the, the, the posting made in time with the, the county's paper of record. I don't want to be in a situation where we're not statutory non-compliant. So if I'm the only one, then that's fine. But if there's consensus for a special meeting at the end of next week or the middle of next week, I prefer to do that and have time to get it in place. I will yeah. not be in town on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. Uh, can, can we agree that, if necessary, we'll schedule a special meeting for Thursday? Uh, Tori? I can do that. Uh, this Thursday? Wait. Or uh, wait. Planning Commission? Well. Planning Commission, no Planning Commission. Okay. Not on a Thursday. Is it not enough time, Laura? I know. Okay. I mean, we you passed a budget at 11 o'clock on the 18th. I have a hard time meeting, believing we'll meet press time for a Tuesday edition of a paper. Mm -hmm. We'd have to call mm -hmm. them to check. We'll know that, though, by the, by the work session next week, right? We'll have to make a decision now. Yeah. Or if we get an answer, we can tell that we can pull council members. Mm -hmm. And, and at that time, hopefully we'll have a, an answer from, Jeannie will have an answer from the, okay. uh, the new paper that the county has put upon us. Okay. Anybody else from council have anything for staff? Uh, uh, Captain <coughs> Warren, uh, Public Works, Parks and Rec, thanks for all the good work on the Mm -hmm. uh, Johnson County Fair Parade. Yes. Uh, <coughs> for those that may not have heard, Captain Morris put in papers to ride off into the sunset on, on one of those motor big motorcycles he's got uh, after 33 years, Captain? Wow. Well, we're going to have to throw a little shindig for you or something, but, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, uh, but uh, that's September 1, correct? Well, you will be missed. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I, 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 oh, do, you do I, do, I do. I do. You jog my memory with Captain Moore. Um, on that uh, overtime, and these, I mean, I had tons of other questions on the budget, but.